Okay, I uh, managed to sort out the uh, problem with this uh, BSA compressor. Couldn't find anything on about it at all anywhere. But I went online and there's one called JTS compressors, exactly the same kind of thing. Uh, so let's just check it. So we're set for 200 bar. So, got direct current for using the battery, and you've got the alternate current for using the mains. So, you've got it plugged into the mains. And you went up to 60 volt before. fixed okay then so what did I do starting off I took the case off took the screws off that that two at the top six down the side I was able to remove that have a look inside so I changed the filter, well I didn't change it, I, ch I checked the filter and it was okay, nothing wrong with the filter, I undid that, made sure that was clean, tightened it back down again, took out the bleed valve, cleaned that up, the uh, o-ring was broke on that one which is there so I replaced that. 
with a new one. If you go to that screw there, that's the burst disc in that. So I took that off, the burst disc is fine, that wasn't the burst disc. So after checking on a line through the JTS uh, website, you'll see a nut underneath. Take the nut off, there's a valve and spring. You just clean it up and clean the inside of that up. And that's all it was, it just needed to clean at the bottom. The low maintenance uh, compressors, so yeah, that's fixed it just by cleaning that out. And didn't come with that, the stop uh, valve on the dust cover, but got that off my own, put it on, and it, it tested to 200 bar. So uh, that is fixed. So if you've got a BSA compressor and it's not filling up proper here, just take the nut off at the bottom and give it a good clean and that should solve it. So there we go. It's a BSA uh, compressor. Thank you.